This slide covers the general language rules in Spectre Netlist language. The Spectre language is case sensitive. So the two model names, my model and my model are different when used in Spectre environment. Next, the field separators in Spectre Netlist are blanks, tabs, punctuation characters or continuation characters. Then Spectre Simulator accepts multiple or common namespaces. So an instance name, net name, parameter name and model name can all have a same identifier. Then in a Spectre Netlist on one of the previous slides, the end of line is typically denoted by continuation character backslash inspector. And the component types are defined by master names rather than the first character of the instance name. Next, the hierarchical nodes are also supported in Spectre with a period or a dot delimiter. Also, the Spectre language does not require a dot end statement like spice. The Spectre Circuit Simulator contains a front-end parser SFE that allows you to parse and simulate a Spectre Syntax Netlist file and a Spice Syntax Netlists. SFE also allows mixing of languages through simulator directive simulator lang equal to Spectre or Spice. This option sets the language context of a netlist. So in a netlist, after simulator lang equal to spectre line, you can have spectre related statements. And similarly, after simulator lang equal to spice line, it has to be spice related statements. Typically, in a netlist, if you see, each included file is processed separately, which means a spice syntax file can include other spice files as well as spectre syntax files. But while mixing, ensure to use the language directive. Also, many similarities exist between SPICE and SPECTRE syntax and there are differences that affect how global parameters and analysis options are dealt with. More details about this option with examples will be discussed in the forthcoming slides. However, by default, SPECTRE is configured to expect a SPICE netlist file unless you explicitly mention that it is of Spectre syntax. Differences between Spectre and Spice netlists. The first thing which helps you to identify between a Spectre and Spice netlist is the netlist name with extension. A Spectre netlist will have a .scs extension, while a Spice netlist has an extension .sp. Then, with Spectre netlist, you can just run a simulation with Spectre command taking the default simulator options. While for a Spice netlist, you need to add the plus Spice option to the Spectre command. Only then it ensures netlist conversion, parameterization, and device models to be interpreted as traditional Spice instead of Spectre. Here, with plus Spice switch option, it behaves like a head Spice and sets the Tnorm value to 25, temp value to 25, and parameter inheritance set to global invoking HSPICE model equations. Next, with respect to case sensitivity, Spectre language is case sensitive. So it uses lowercase for all the keywords, while SPICE is insensitive. So adding these options are not recommended. Then a Spectre netlist will have a simulator lang equal to Spectre at the beginning of the file. But a spice netlist will have simulator lang equal to spice command. Next, if you notice, Spectre has instance statements which are keyword based with a specific syntax. Here we will have keywords like resistor, capacitor, options, etc., denoting it's a Spectre syntax. While in spice, the first letter indicates what type of device it is. Like here, R1 denotes a resistor instance. Then, if you see in SPICE, we have equivalent syntax options as that of SPECTRE. These are the built-in parameters and ground node options used in SPECTRE and SPICE. Notice that in SPECTRE, you can have multiple global statements in a design. Then, with respect to the end of the line or end of the netlist, 
the spectral language does not require a dot end statement as that of spice. Using the simulator lang command, the simulator language command sets the language context of the netlist. It helps to switch between the two in mixed language netlist containing both head spice and spectre code. Here in this example, Notice that you have spice related statements after the language is set to spice and spectre related statements after the language is set to spectre. So here you can place this option anywhere in the netlist and switch any number of times between the languages. But while switching and setting this option, you need to follow a proper syntax in the netlist. Otherwise, by default, it is assumed to take the spice syntax. Then you cannot mix the spice syntax inside the spectral language directive and vice versa. But models included in the spice mode sections can be referred by the spectral simulator.